Welcome back, crypto enthusiasts and C3 family. If you're new and would like to join the C3 family, it's as easy as clicking the subscribe button and smashing that notification bell. As always, before we get started, this is not financial advice. And with that being said, I would like to say we really appreciate all the love, likes, and comments on our last market cipher video this is going to be a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how to use these new indicators um, we're going to be going over obviously how to add the indicator if you haven't done that already and then showing you what these numbers correlate to that are on the top and bottom right here as well as what candles to use setting alerts so you're ready for when you see these certain indicators hit so you can you know position yourself for a trade and beautiful part about this it works on all asset classes so you don't specifically have to be a crypto trader you can do forex you can do stocks whatever your deal is so anyway let's jump right in um, this new indicator is called DBSI which is the dual band strength index and the reason it's a dual band is because you have a top and bottom number so these top and bottom numbers are your bear and bull numbers so the very top number which we see over here on ethereum on the 10 minute time frame is a 21 so this is a very high number down here we have a negative 5 which is the lowest number so these are the range real quick is negative 5 to 28 but these numbers will show you what direction the trend is heading so that's the best part about these and this indicator uses 36 different indicators all in one it was built off of a trading bot from crypto face himself um, so this is a really great project we've been a really great indicator we've been using it the last 24 hours and been crushing it on some trades and we thought we'd share everything we've learned so far with it so the candles once you've kind of learned about the numbers and what direction because the very top number is the bear number so the higher the number up here the more probability of a swing to the downside so especially when you see a negative 5 like we did over here so we had a 20 against a negative 5 paired with a nice little blood diamond so we knew right there that the trend was going down um, but it looks like we're seeing a little bit of a reversal so when you start to see a negative five come up to a negative one that's a really good sign we're moving in the upward position as well as seeing the 20 drop down to a 12 so for a bullish pattern we want to see these top numbers low we want to see them decreasing and then these bottom numbers increasing so we'll see a movement to the upside So let's zoom out a little bit. That's kind of a really important thing with these indicators. So this is really good actually on the 15 minute. Let's kind of jump into the two hours. So two hours still looking bearish. We have a 12 up here, or actually, excuse me, a 15 up here and a negative five down here. So unless we start to see this number decrease before this candle closes, we're still looking at this downward trend so with that being said actually there's a couple things to the candles that you're looking at so right now I'm on regular candles and these regular candles are going to give you an exact number for the dual band strength index hike and a she candles on the other hand are an actual moving average kind of like an MA or an EMA so you'll see a little bit different numbers on each side but you need to use both of them you need to have confirmation from both just like you would when you're placing a position using multiple indicators you don't just look up here and make sure this is good you need to look down here make sure you have a nice fat VWAP coming back to the upside so that's really really important I can't stress that enough 
Make sure you're going through all your time frames, going back and forth between different candles to make sure you're seeing a consistent swing to the upside. So when you kind of get the gist, and I would recommend paper trading these indicators before you actually put in real trades. But if you're interested in putting in real trades, you can check out our Bybit tutorial. We also have a video um, in the link below, or actually above, for passive income. Learn how to just deposit assets and make money for them sitting there when they're not in a trade. So let's uh, show you guys how to set an alert. So basically, you're going to come up to here, to settings. And if you haven't already added this, this was something I should have done in the beginning, but if you haven't already added this indicator and you have market cipher, it's as easy as just coming over to your indicators and strategies up here at the FX, go to invite only script and star this DBSI and it'll pop up right down in here. So, and also if you don't have market cipher, check the description below you can get a referral link down there so real quick let's uh, after you've figured that out let's add an indicator so what crypto face recommends and what he does is he likes to use a 14s which are you know half of 28 so i thought that was kind of in interesting so it's more than halfway up his positive number swing so basically it comes defaulted with seven right here in this position. So um, enter a 14 if you would like, if you'd like to follow that, that's what we're following. Um, down here, right here in the long-term trend, this is basically your moving average. So you can tell it to gather this information on a 200 candle moving average, a 50, 100, whatever, whatever your heart desires, you can set it for that. So once you have had that set, Next step is to actually come up over here to alerts and all you're going to do is go to add alert and whatever asset you're on, make sure it's there. And real quick, actually, let me back up. I want to be adding this on the, I think I'm going to start with the 15 minute time frame. So I want to know when I see a 14 down here on this 15 minute time frame. So See how quickly it's moving back and forth right now. We got a three to 13. So we got a little bit of manipulation, which is if you know anything about the other market cipher indicators, that's what this yellow X right here. Is. So um, I want to know when this hits 14. So it might go off as soon as I place it, but that's the idea. So I'm going to do this on the 15 minute time frame on ETH. So I'm going to come up here, come down to market cipher DBSI. And then I want to look for the long entry. But if you want to short the market and you want a, the number from the very top, from the bear side, you click there. But for us, we're, you know, the trend is your friend till the end. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do once per bar. So you know as soon as it happens, every time it happens, or actually not every time, just once, but you'll definitely want to know as soon as it happens, not when the candle closes that, you know, you might miss it at that point. And if you're on the regular candles, it, it changes. You're not on an average like you are in the hike in a sheet. So anyway, we're going to create that right there. And that's going to set us up nicely to let us know. And look at that. It went off because we got a 17 down here. So this is actually really exciting because we're seeing this 18 turn to a negative three. And that tells me we're kind of coming back up this direction. We got some nice little buy dots down here. So ETH is actually looking really good even though it's pumped fairly, fairly high today. Um, we're still looking for more gains. We're in a bull market and the alts are crushing it. So. With that being said, just don't get too zoomed into your charts. Actually, you know, give it the one, four, six hour backup, you know, like right here. This tells us exact opposite of what we're looking at. So you need to be very aware of all indicators on all time frames. 
So that's all I got right now for today. I really appreciate you guys. If you appreciate this, please like and subscribe. That'll make you C3 family right off the bat. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Look for our Bybit passive income in-depth tutorial video. We'll show you how to make up to 12% APY on just Tether. I believe up to around 8% on Bitcoins. <laughs>